Okay, so a quick little rant. I've seen that the Raptors have signed Jalen McDaniels to a two-year, $9.3 million deal, which is just over $4.5 million a season. Daryl, why could you not have done this deal? So let's scale back to the Matisse Thibault trade. You traded Matisse Thibault and a second-round pick for Jalen McDaniels, who you now let walk for nothing. That was not even a deal which you couldn't have offered to Jalen McDaniels. Maybe they did, maybe they couldn't guarantee him a bigger role, hence I went to Toronto. But there's no excuse for Jalen McDaniels to not be in the Sixers uniform. And on top of that, you've done nothing this entire free agency. Bringing in Patrick Beverly is not solving much. Like, it's a great addition, cool, but you need to still solve the issues which already exist in and the new holes you've created. As much as a lot of fans did not like George Niang, blah, 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 I thought the whole point in letting George Niang go was so that McDaniels can have a bigger role. But then again, now you've lost Niang and McDaniels, you've got to replace two things. Niang shooting at the wing position and slash the four. And McDaniels size and length. You don't have that. But where are we going to find this? So this just doesn't make any sense to me. You can't just let guys walk without a plan B. I promise you, if I see that Paul Reed's agreed another deal somewhere else, I'm going to lose my shit. But I just don't understand the strategy right now. Daryl, wake up. Like, I understand we don't have too much money to like work with. But I might be bugging. The deal Jalen McDaniels just signed might be lower than the amount he was earning last season. Am I am I tweaking? I'm not too sure. I might have to check that after the video. But come on, Daryl. This just makes absolutely no sense. This is... I don't want to swear. This is just ridiculous right now. Like, what are we going to do? Like, we can't just keep losing players, like I said, and not replacing them. But it'll be intriguing to see what's left because there's not really much left on the market, if I'm being totally honest. Imagine how ironic it would be if the Sixers sign Matisse the Hubble to offer sheet, which is not going to happen realistically. But I'm just saying, like, bro, you got to do something now. Like, you can't just run it back without McDaniels and Niang. I'm not saying they're game changers, but we already needed more of a bench. But we're losing the small bench we had, which means we are regressing. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. The logic isn't, like, making sense. Then I'm seeing the Sixers Twitter post Ricky Council. Like, I like Ricky Council as a player, project player, but he's not doing much for us now. Stop posting no Ricky Council and sign some damn fucking players. Mind my language. But, bro, this is just ridiculous right now. Like, I don't understand why this team continues to show a pure sign of incompetency. Like, I just don't understand the strategy, what they're trying to do, or overall, like, what the plan is. Are we trying to just make Embiid go, you know what, yeah, I want out. Because realistically speaking, we know Embiid's stupidly low to the Sixers in the city of Philadelphia. But if you keep pushing his buttons, if I was Embiid, I'll be out because you guys are making his roster worse. Like, what is going on? Like, I don't understand what the point and what we're doing is. Like, it doesn't make sense. But I ain't going to bug out too much. Daryl still has a couple of days before more guys go off the board. So we'll see if Daryl Morey decides to wake up and actually make some signings. But, bro, you can tell in my tone of my voice, I'm depressed right now. Like, this team is pissing me off and is getting me angry. But there's not much I can do apart from wait and see. But honestly, yeah, man, let me know who you guys want for the sixes to sign in the comment section down below. I'm flipping drained. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.